Hello friends, uh, this is Anirudha here. Uh, I am here to present a short tutorial on uh, how to gain medals uh, in the skill draft portal. So just go to your browser. So uh, after you go to your browser, just type in skilldraft.com. So once you type skilldraft.com, uh, you can see the, the website here. Click on the login button and uh, you can enter your login id password uh, your uh, login id password uh, usually has the format of your register number at st joseph's engineering so if you are a uh, first time user uh, your default password will be srac123 so srac is in uh, lower case you can just click on login and then you can see uh, it takes you to the main screen here you can see your name along with your username here and this is the dashboard and you, here you can see that your the rank has been displayed here and uh, other main buttons and uh, to gain uh, uh, medals basically you have to go to the programming tab over here so here you can see the number of pro programs that uh, I have solved and uh, when you are clicking programming button you can go to this learn C Java Python SQL data structures click on view here and then you can just choose whichever programming language that you like so you, can, you have an option of uh, C, Java, Python, C++ and many others so uh, just I'm just going as an example I'm just going to take Python programming here click on show and I'm going to take the first one uh, which shows uh, Python 3.x and programming course hands on so when I click show you can see that there are various uh, amounts of uh, chapters here, uh, 15 to be exact and uh, for uh, completing each chapter you will get a medal. So as you complete each and every chapter you will get a medal. So in this chapter there are 10 units. So when you click on view, uh, you will get the first unit. So which are is variables in Python. So uh, on the left of your screen you will see what is the concept that is going to be taught right now and on the right of your screen uh, there is a console where you can type the program and uh, get the result. So uh, suppose uh, when you type in uh, it's given like uh, age is equal to 20 so when you give a, like say an input here and uh, so if you are giving like an output uh, input like this and uh, suppose if you are mistaking, making a mistake and say if you click on run it will take a few a few, uh, few seconds to load and uh, suppose if there is any mistake in the code it will show like code did not pass the execution uh, at this time we can see what is the input that uh, the input is expected and uh, expected output is 100 so what uh, my program output was 10 so when you make the first mistake you will get the option of uh, hint so when you click on hint you can see what is the hint that uh, need that is uh, needed to solve this program so afterwards even uh, if uh, i am suppose uh, if i if i don't know like uh, i am just uh, making a deliver mistake here so if i click on run again just to show a trial uh, you can see uh, while you make the second mistake uh, it will show the solution itself. So this is a feature of skill rack. So whenever you learn, suppose if you are making any mistakes, you can also use these two buttons, hint and solution button, to learn along the way. And uh, once you like uh, pass the co code successfully, if you click on run, uh, it will show this message called uh, "Congratulations, your code has passed." So as you complete the units you can see here the progress bar is saying 20% so if you complete one chapter you will get one medal 